Today's daily dose of math is about positive and negative intervals. All these are, are the portions of your situation that are above the x-axis, that's the positive intervals, or below the x-axis, those are the negative intervals. In this situation, there's only one positive interval. It starts here, where x equals 3, and it continues to here, where x equals 11. So the positive interval is 3, 11 with square, square brackets, and the brackets are pointed inwards so that the numbers are included. We're using the x-coordinates for this. In this situation, there are two negative intervals, though. One of them starts here, where x equals 0, and it continues to where x equals 3. So 0, 3 in square brackets is one of my negative intervals. And there's another one over here from 11 to 12. So I have to say and 11, 12 square brackets. Now, why is x equals 3 included in both the positive interval and the negative interval? When really, where x equals 3, y equals 0, and you could say the function isn't positive or negative. This is just a convention of mathematics. In math, if we want you to say only the points that are positive and not include the zero, we have to ask for the strictly positive interval or the strictly negative interval. Since the word strictly was not in here, we include the three in both intervals. Remember, we're only using the x-coordinates for this. When I was dealing with this part of the curve, this has negative y-coordinates, but I wasn't using negative numbers in my interval because I'm not using the y-coordinates. I am using the x-coordinates for this. This is today's daily dose of math. Please remember to like this video, and if you're not subscribed yet, click on the subscribe button.